Hey guys, what's going on? Um, this is going to be a short video, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to break down each of the Ginyu Force members um, day by day for the rest of the week, since this is when they're getting released for the first time on the global side, just so I can talk about what you to do with the potential system and everything. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, honestly, I'm going to tell you straight, uh, for because this is technically my first video, because I did not do the one for Birder. But I technically did do the one for Birder, um, but I, I kind of covered everything. It was all encompassing. So uh, this one is for Guldo. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new and please help so show some support of the channel. I would really appreciate it. So here we go with Guldo. Uh, every day, Sunday to Monday is going to be Birder. Monday to Tuesday is Guldo. That's the day we're talking about. Tuesday, Wednesday is Captain Ginyu. Wednesday, Thursday is Jice. Thursday to Friday is Raccoon. And then weekends, they are all open. Pretty much what you're going to do. This is the best free-to-play team you can currently get on Dokkan Battle if you get them all 100% and get the LR Captain Ginyu. Um, with Guldo being the next unit, the Tuesday unit, the second time this has come around, or the first time it's come around for the second unit, second day. Um, you're going to go over here, you're going to do your special training technique. Uh, again, this event, you go ahead, you go down the path, you make the left, or you go into the cloud, you go and fight Guldo, there could be a Thouser there, a Thouser gives you a guaranteed Guldo drop. Um, if you go up against Guldo, you have a chance to drop a Guldo card. You want to get him to Super Attack 10, all four two pads unlocked, um, and you want to go and get as many of the orbs as you can. Um, total orbs looks like right over here, uh, 6,100 6, small orbs, 33, 3,400 medium orbs, and 320 large orbs. Total you're going to want from this event. Looks like left path, it, this is typical for these types of events. Left path, Guldo orbs are going to be small, middle is medium, right is going to be large. Again, these are Guldo exclusive orbs, so you don't need to use your own potential orbs. Get them to 100%. Now, in terms of what you want to do, you're pretty much going to want to give him full additional attacks. And that is because he is a debuffer. We're going to go over the card in a minute. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Dokkan Battle Builder up to do a team building guide with him, but I'll do a team building guide when it becomes available on Global. Um, just because, honestly, you probably want to only run them anyway on the, the Ginyu Force team anyway. So we'll talk about it, though, in a separate video because I want to do these separate. Anyway, uh, while you're doing these, you get a whole bunch of stuff. Do special training up to 30 times. You get a whole bunch of different medals and everything uh, you're going to want to get in order to get him Doken Awakened to his TUR form. Uh, pretty awesome unit. Again, definitely do double attacks because he is a debuffer. Uh, once you're done with all 30 of them, get him to level 100, get him to TUR, and it will go to get your LR Captain Ginyu. Now, you're going to need to get Birder, Guldo, Captain Ginyu, Jice, and Rakum all 100% in a dupe system or in the hidden potential system in order to unlock this guy, so keep that in mind. Um, so, in terms of the card, Guldo, Surprise, Strike, Guldo, Leader Ability, Tech Type, Key plus 1, HP, and, and Attack plus 25%, not a great leader. Super Attack, Psycho, Javelin, Extreme Damage, Horrible, with Medium Chance to Stun, eh, that's alright, you always like Stunners. Passive Skill, Restraint, Attack, Enemies, Attack, and Defense minus 15% for 2 turns. Now, that is for 2 turns, so that is actually really good, you always want to have 2 turns um, for the buffs, obviously you would want more than that, but we only really do 2 turns. Link skills are the Ginyu Force Signature Pose, Telekinesis, Brutal Beatdown, and Brainiacs. Categories is Planet Namek, Saga, and Ginyu Force. Max stats are going to be HP of 67. Actually, you know what? We're just going to talk about the unlocked potential because this is what you guys are going to do. A max unlocked potential is HP of 10,745, attack of 10,580, and defense of 6,028. Um, his, his actual dupe system for, for defense isn't that great. You kind of wish it would do more. Uh, but whatever, 12 key multipliers, 125%. Um, again, must be 100% in the hidden potential system in order to get the LR Ginyu. Requires special potential orbs for his specific event, which we already talked about, and these are the max orbs that you need. Um, again, I I've seen multiple videos done, and I've always done this with mine. Um, I didn't do this with Birder myself, but pretty much what you want to do is you just want to grind out all the orbs that you know that you have and just check on them uh, periodically to make sure you have enough orbs. Once you know you meet the criteria over here, then go and do the dupe system instead of going into the dupe system to finding out what you need. It's a pain in the butt. Um, so just go ahead and do that. Once you're done with that, you go, you can Z-Awaken him. Once you Z-Awaken him, you need the five medals, which we discussed over here. You need to complete all 30 missions in order to Z-Awaken or Doken Awaken him. He Doken Awakens into this bad boy over here, Brutal Bind Guldo. Leader ability, tech type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Um, so that makes him a little bit better of a leader. He will help you take on old school events. For those of you who are newer players um, who don't have good leaders, I mean, I'll, first off, you could re-roll, re-roll for an LR if you have the ability to do so. If not, um, go ahead and get this guy or any, any of these guys are going to be decent leaders for old school events like the OG Super Saiyan 3, Janemba, Super Saiyan Gogeta events, stuff like that. Uh, this will definitely help you out um, or anything obviously with better stats. Anyway, um, Super Attack, Psycho Javelin, Supreme Damage now with medium chance to stun the enemy, so that's a little bit better. 
Passive skill, suppress. Attack the enemies, attack and defense minus 20% for two turns. That's really, really good. This is why you want double attacks. It doesn't matter if he launches a super net with that double attack. Uh, if As long as he launches that double attack, you're going to be getting a 40% debuff to attack and defense, which helps out so much, especially when you're going up against only one enemy. Um, so if you're bringing uh, an extreme uh, technique like a, a Super Saiyan 3 Broly team and you're only going up against a Dokkan event and you only have one enemy, that will help you with survivability. Definitely do doubles with him. Link skills, he gains Shattering the Limit, which is awesome. Same categories. Uh, max potential system is going to be HP of 11,325, attack of 10,878, and defense of 6163. Uh, 12 key multiplier is now 130%. Gul Guldo can fire early super attacks at 9 or more key once super attack level is maxed out. So get him obviously super attack 10, um, and he'll be super attacking at level 9, which is really awesome. Guldo must be 100%, obviously, again, we already talked about that. And pretty much everything else is already taken care of over here. So again, just really short video, I want to talk about it. Get Guldo with the additional attacks. Everyone else, you could, you could safely do... Um, you could safely do uh, crits. Uh, crits. I know that burner, it says do a dodge. Don't do dodge, do crits. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it. I will be talking about Captain Ginyu tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace out.